Hello, you're watching Coffee Blog. My name is Vyacheslav, and today I'm going to show you how to brew V60 using 30 grams of coffee and how to avoid using recipes because uh, this is not a recipe, this is a method. I call it micro pours or 3500 because I'm using 30 grams of coffee and 500 grams of water. Basically, we combine two methods here osmotic flow and single pour technique. But we will achieve proper extraction by using light roasted coffee, which will not happen if you use just osmotic flow. And from single pour we will take part when we push the beans. So why using this method? First of all, it works. Second of all, you don't need recipe. Third of all, you don't need a special equipment. You just need some kettle, gooseneck kettle, non-electric one, because uh, it's it's cheaper. And of course you can use some thermometer, but it's not necessary because when you're using boiling water, you add it here, fuel to the top, and it will stay in a nice brewing range if you are using 30 grams of coffee. If you're using another dose like 12 grams, you need to decrease temperature. And like in osmotic flow, you don't need scales because you can do some marking on the server so we can stop the brewing process by taking this off how it works and why it works while making coffee we can have what i call brewing defects so we have channeling usually bypass and these two things will affect uh, your cup dramatically especially channeling and in my opinion bypass is higher when using bigger doses let's talk about pouring technique in this method we will make just one single circle and wait until water goes down. First pour needed for wetting your coffee, usually to 1 to 2 ratio, so you use 30 grams of coffee and you will use naturally around 60 grams of water, but you don't need scales, you just see it. First pour, wetting and it will shape the dome like in osmotic flow. Second pour is the gassing stage, but uh, unlike osmotic flow, you will wet all the surface in order to help gas to come out. And third stage, while coffee is not floating, you can just brew to add water. And how we add it is the key. We do just one circle all the time. It's like uh, for this kettle, 40 grams of coffee, 30-40 grams not more. And by the way, because we're using this method uh, micropores, we don't have a lot of agitation and it will prevent from filter clogging. And it's a good thing because you don't have your small particles because of agitation coming to the filter, clogging it. So coffee just filters itself, like in Mockapot, uh, which you can watch in my YouTube channel. And the key is to make it consistent. So you see when water reaches the coffee, you add another pour. And when you finished, you taste your coffee and you can see, is it sour or is it bitter or is it balanced? If it's sour, you can wait longer. So water reaches the coffee level and you need to remember your pouring structures when you pour, when water is reached cough level or is a little bit below. That's basically how you adjust dial in your taste. And of course you can adjust grind size, but I usually do like 22 clicks on Commandante for washed and some natural coffees, around 22-24 clicks. It works well. And usually when you use 15 grams it's like uh, 2 clicks less, like 20 clicks. So grind size will be like sugar and 22 to 24 clicks on Commandante, 660 microns or something like this. Let's brew some coffee and you will see how it works. Because it's really visual thing. I just try to explain you how it works and why it works uh, and to what you need to pay attention. Small thing, I'm using Cafec T90 filters. Is because, uh, first of all, it's for osmotic flow, it's more stable and it prevents clogging because of filtering layer is huge here. And of course, why this method? It's pretty stable. You will be excited 
of how well you brew the coffee with these because the recipes uh, they tend to not work because of difference of water chemical compounds in water so mineralization a lot of stuff a lot of stuff and about timer i'm going to use it because i want to see my brewing time like i don't watch while brewing and uh, I pay attention to the overall weight of my water only at the end of the brewing when I need to finish brewing and I need to be sure that it's exact 500 grams for 30 grams of coffee. So it's brewing time. First pour. So you don't need to be precise here. Now we're waiting for water to wet the coffee. And now the gas in stage. It can take like two, three pours. And I try to keep my water level low in order to avoid a bypass. So as you can see, I can see coffee now. And I do an export. One full circle. And there's like half centimeter or centimeter of water at the top of the coffee. And by the way, you can guess how much water is still in the coffee by just listening the drips in the server. If it's still dripping, flow is pretty stable. It means that there is a lot of water. So it's basically a natural way how to brew. You don't need special recipes and other stuff. You just need to extract coffee properly. It's like a drip coffee maker, but you need to use your kettle and you can adjust how long water contact will be. The most important thing here is to be consistent with your pores and pay attention to every pore. By having consistent pore technique, you can adjust grind size properly and play with water temperature, other parameters, if you want to affect your cup taste. But I found that uh, this grind size works like universally for all the coffee, pretty much. So it looks like we have long brewing time, it's like uh, six minutes. But you will be impressed by the result. Because you can watch Lance Hedrick channel when he shows how to use a Tricolite Brewer and the recipe is like seven, ten minutes. So don't be afraid to use longer recipe and longer total brew time for this. Because in drip coffee maker, it takes nine minutes to brew one liter of coffee and it do it uh, pretty well. So we have proper bed, proper coffee, and that's it. Maybe you have some thoughts that you can write down in the comments. And let me know how this method affected your brewing. Was it helpful or not?